Well, passengers have been stranded at train stations since the federal government announced free services for them nationwide. That was from December 24th to, uh, to end on the January 4th, 2022. Now, some passengers at a train station in Lagos were seen lamenting that the system was frustrating. Jacinta Obuku has more. At the Babatunde Fashola train station at Gigi, we were greeted by angry passengers who were hustling for their tickets. The train services were scheduled for 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 4 p.m. for the day. They complained about the process and boarding delay in the system. They disclosed that some passengers who were supposed to board 6 a.m. train were yet to get their tickets at, at 10 a.m. when our crew arrived at the station. The ticket is free. But the challenge we are having is that the officials are not managing the allocation of tickets fairly. So you understand, the way they are doing it is somehow, you know, they will give you tally. I got here, I got here around 7 in the morning, so you understand. I'm, so, I'm supposed to go with the first train, and I'm still here, this is like 12 o'clock. From those that, that enjoyed this thing first when it started, I mean, they, they, they said a lot of good things about it. But now it seems like... A, uh, there's no free lunch anymore. So it's looking like uh, people have to tip some people to get in and all that. Some people are holding the tickets and all that. I've been here since early in the morning. So if we, 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 what we want them to do is just to do the certain calculation by the time we got here, let us know if we can. Because that, if we are here since 7 o'clock and, and we could not even be able to follow 4 o'clock again, we are going back home. So far, it's, it's a bit stressful because, uh, you know, in Nigeria, anything that is free cannot be uh, easy. But then I think um, since it's, it's free, we should be able to endure the process. One of the passengers even stressed that the government shouldn't have approved the free ticket, but should have reduced the fare instead. When you are running a business and you give it totally free, you are wasting the resources. You can subsidize not to let it be free. I don't see a nation that will be giving all these, these kind of facility as free, total free for more than a day. You are just starting rail system again, and the rail system you just started, you are running anyhow. You are running free. It's all good. Some of the passengers alleged that some people are paying their way through the back door. However, passengers were warned not to cut corners, but to exercise patience. This has been going on for days and citizens are waiting for the next line of action from the authorities. Jacinta Ubiuku for Plus TV Africa. Well, joining us live is a public affairs analyst, Majid Dahiru, uh, as we take a look at this very issue, this very report that we just had. Good evening, Mr. Majid Dahiru. Good evening. Good evening. Well, let um, me start by me. asking you what your take is on the opinion expressed by one of those uh, reporter um, interviewed uh, who said that the, 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 it shouldn't have been made completely free, but rather it should have been subsidized. What's your take on that? I think it was a good gesture from the government to afford Nigerian a free train uh, ride during the new time. The train services were originally actually subsidized by government. Uh, so this was just, I, I believe, because government uh, effort to ameliorate the hard times for Nigeria. And I think it's commendable mm -hmm. and in good faith. And um, despite the hitches associated with the exercise, I think the government is out commendation for this, for this little token that we went to Nigeria at this period in time. So while this free lunch, in quote, is commendable, how should it have been conducted? Because these hitches seem to have taken the shine out of this gesture. Yes, you're right. I think um, this report is, is, is a very good one. Uh, and it should uh, serve as a feedback mechanism for the government to make this free lunch worth its while. I think the problem is an, an overstretch of the available uh, real facilities. I mean, this is Lagos Ibadan, for example. Uh, the volume of uh, passenger traffic is probably the highest across the country. And so, the online booking system, 
would have been completely oversubscribed by prospective passengers. And some unscrupulous elements within the system would have taken advantage of the situations uh, to make some quick money off fellow Nigerians. So I think the government should look into this through these reports and make sure that people within the system do not undermine the effort of government at making life better for, for, for its citizens. Mm -hmm. And do you think we should have it privatized? No, I do not think it should be privatized. I do not, I'm not a believer in privatization at all. For me, this is a social amenity. And a, a, any responsible government all over the world is supposed to be able to run a subsidized train service for its citizens. That is the irreducible minimum expected of any responsible country. So I do not think it should prioritize. Governments should be able to run it and run it very well. Yeah, government should be able to run it and run it very well. But from what we're seeing and from what you've just analyzed, there are still some glitches that should be taken. Corruption, how do, you, how do you advise them to fix this? So it doesn't damage the whole effort being put by government. Well, I, I didn't get the question. Well, how do you advise government to handle the issue of corruption? We've just seen a bit of it just from a few days of uh, free rights given to Nigerians. So, and as you have analyzed, it is a, it, it is a problem that should be sorted out. Uh, how do you advise the government to handle this problem of corruption, nip it in the bud? Because this has just been re revived. So it doesn't mess up the whole system being put together. The corruption you see in the real system is not an isolated one. It's simply it's a, it's a function of the dysfunctional state of our public uh, sector. And the solution is not to privatize. Because experience have shown that when you prioritize a, a malfunctioning public asset or enterprise, uh, you get very low premium from prospective investors who are only after the assets of this corporation. And so for me, I have always recommended that rather than hurriedly prioritize and then change the, the inefficiency from public to the private sector as seen in the, in the, uh, the, in the discourse, Electric uh, power discourse. Telecommunications? Telecommunications was not privatized. It was liberalized. That is, it allowed other players in the sector. As we speak, Nitel is still more important because Nitel was not run well. Nitel has not been successfully privatized. So imagine, for example, if we are stuck with Nitel as a privatized entity, it will have been like the, 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 the discourse and the gem codes. So I'm saying, Government has a responsibility to fix the rot in the public sector. You see, if you don't fix the public sector, the private sector cannot function properly because the private sector is a product of the public sector. So I think the question should be around fixing the public sector, making it efficient, reposition it, and take the running of public sector very seriously. It should be run in line with international best practices. That should be the illegal minimum of any functional government. So it's no longer an issue that the public sector is corrupt. It shouldn't be corrupt. It should be corrupt free. And the government has a responsibility to ensure that to the relevant policies and other administrative instruments. All right. Well, um, Mr. Majid Dahiru, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we look forward to the day when there will be zero corruption in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.